crash, which no issue. Or at least where. The glass is shattered, like someone smashed it. Was it before or after the removal of these bandages? Okay. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? It smells as bad as it looks. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. Hmm. What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Officially unused since Charles Hickens' death. This warehouse recently housed uh, countless residents. Signs of life will attest to the fact the presence of bloodstained bandages must also be noted, possibly removed from a wound, as well as pills, painkillers, and sleeping pills. Moverd Ackman seems to be obsessed with Sarah Hawkins, as attested by the presence of several documents connected to the artist's life for graph press cuttings, but it's also the discovery of partially charred paintings recognized by Officer Bradley as having some of the Hawkins uh, come from the Hawkins mansion. This that allows all doubt to be lifted as the link between the contents of this building and the Hawkins case. Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Uh. Look around you. Someone has settled in here. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. <clears throat> God damn it. Her again. Oh, what's Cat want? This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why, you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Oh, fuck off, cat. Is <laughs> it far, this mansion? Look behind you. 
at the top of the ridge. You see the building? <laughs> That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Okay. On to chapter three. Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place thought to be abandoned revealed more surprises. Signs of resident recent occupation, patient as well as a partially, partially shard painting. Interrupted in his searching by Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins mansion. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. Okay. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. <laughs> That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kinda unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family, so he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way, he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? Oh, give me a minute, jeez. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he that be a know. problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. No, you've answered everything now. Finally. Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Why not? Sure. You can help. Right. 
Let's go. So we got reached a manor. All of our things. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined, but the architecture seems too recent. Why'd you go over here? Oh, they're graves. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. Poor kid. Didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. You ready to go? He's not going to come. I just heard steps. So that's why we walked that way. My curve got me a bit, so I can actually see a bit. Got a crow up there. I'll have to find another entrance. This entrance is still in use. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. You're... Mr. Winchester, lower that axe, and let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Uh. 
Sarah Hawkins' father sent me here to investigate the death of his daughter. Webster, huh? I understand how he feels. But me? I want the dead to rest in peace. And that means kicking the ass of gumshoes like you. Why would you not want me to help understand what happened here? I've got nothing to hide. Tell me what you're doing here. And no baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Uh... No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Mm, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. <clears throat> right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Thank you. Now... Why does he not have me go that way? If he wants to get rid of me. Stop bothering me! I'm not bothering you. Pierce, shall we enter? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. Stop bothering me! Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Okay! <laughs> At least I didn't do what I would normally done in RPGs and did a strength check. <laughs> Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? Okay. Let's go there. Thank you. We need to start adding to there. Actually, hold on. Start adding up there. That's Cyrus. And we got the key. Okay. The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? What kind of meat is this? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. That's why we couldn't move, because the chair. Here, smashed his plate on the floor. Which caused the father to freak out. Sarah Hawkins didn't eat. Was it because of the meat or something else? Something happened at this table. An argument? Okay. <laughs> Again. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door.
Silas managed to bring the fire under control. But it was all was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Charles and Sarah's wedding was painted by Sarah herself. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. So this is the room of the fire. So let's see. Did someone escape the fire? Is there scratch marks? The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? They had a fight. Why? Did it stop at the time of the fire? From the clock. Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Come on. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. And here comes a jump scare. So, detective, what do you make of it? Mm. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. <laughs> What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. Through the other door. So we're gaining their point, which we're going to put there. And we're going to do that. Clues. Yeah, let's say there's blood stains on it. Totally different version of fire that claimed the whole family began with pre presence of handprint that throws off the possibility of survivor. Left no marks on the floor, nor to that matter. The child was still visible. On the wall, clear marks left paintings. So yeah. Something's going on that we don't know about. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. This door is locked. Hmm. Oh, hello, Vermin. Hey, their medication book. Woohoo, Mason went up more. <laughs> Not much, but... These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. So he's, oh, there 
There's something there. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. I don't want to hit up yet. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. Hmm. Moby, Moby Dick. Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. This place was falling apart long before the fire. I'm gonna make sure I'm not missing anything. I saw two spots over here. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. Okay. Medicine more. We're almost to the point. Next level. So we get to start heading up. Uh -huh. I see anything. Ah. A crowbar could prove useful. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. A book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century. Uh. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. Ah, Greek uh. mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus. And mother of Scylla. So now we're on this side. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Dear sir, as you know, I have always held you and your family in high resort. respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week, she again terrified my clientele. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems to be able to make her come to her senses if these disturbances were to recur believe me that although it would feel like torture I would <laughs> okay nothing on the back yeah, I don't like that lightning just ran over flashes so we could have kept going up Locked. That door's locked. Oh, that door's not. Oh, there's something hidden here. Ah! Her office. There's blood streak across that. The light. Thank you. That door's caved in. The boys' room. Let's see what we can find in the boys' room. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Mm. His pictures are lit up. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. 
What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Cthulhu. Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. The pictures are gone now. Wart's still there. Pills are on the ground. What will her room reveal about her? Okay, there's something. Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Barbiturate prescription from a certain Dr. Fuller. And up the back That's there. a massive dose. Was Sarah violent? Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. Ah, uh, did I beg you to send me some new paintings? Okay. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Say, there's a circle there. Bradley? Is that you? I heard it the other way. Well, I'm coming this way to see if he's back this way. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. If you're right, we should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. Did you hear that? Yes. I'm trying to get you. What do you know about Charles yeah, Hawkins' activities? Fuck. Run the king. That's lit up there now. Because that's now open. Is anyone there? Why is that of us? What? The fuck? You! Stop! Stop! 
Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. What? I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. <sighs> this door is blocked from the outside. The lyrics of the drunken sailor. I'll cover the sea you. shanty. This door was closed earlier. Yes, it was. Where did he go? So now we got four points. <laughs> Well, that immediately puts us all 45 except for that one. Which is good. By me. So now we got that circle. All their notes there. It looks like an old seaway map. Okay, someone added points to it. You really think that you're fugitive? Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Probably another friend of Hawkins. This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Doesn't work. I must have. Says North. They all point right here to dark water. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. There's nothing there. As if the bookcase has been moved several times. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't work. I must have missed something. What is it that I'm missing? They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. Seems like this came from a log. Uh, forty-two North Seventy Darkwater Island. Uh. There must be a link with the seaway map. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. Doesn't work. I must have missed. There it is. Looks like it worked. I had to push a bit more. <laughs> well done, Pierce. Okay, inside Hawkins' mission, the scene of the fire revealed his secrets. Pearson Officer Bradley, now on the trail of the survivor, have, had undertaken the search of the place, looking for proof. When a hooded man leaped into Sarah Hawkins' workshop to steal a painting, detective and op police officer set off after him. By following him to the office of Charles Hawkins, they discovered a secret passage. Okay. Secret now. passage. Under the manor. 
It's like a detective novel. That guy must have already gotten far. Yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. Three seats. Let's see. Look. Someone's been here recently. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? What is this mask supposed to represent? Whatever Charles Hawkins hid here, he didn't want it in his house. something else. Because I can't exit out of it. Which means there's something I'm missing here. This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Was Sarah Hawkins here? Of course. And something tells me that the key is climbing these steps. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll find another way. If possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. <laughs> fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. But we just saw the guy climb. We just saw the guy climb the steps. What? Stuck in here now. Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. I just touch it, then turn to dust. These paintings must be several centuries old. Uh, 
they're praying to Cthulhu. Of course they are. It's not giving much difference in the light. This is where we saw the guy climb. Time has weakened these structures. Has weakened them, but not done much to, to prevent us. I don't have time to search them all. This oil again. What is it used for? Okay. There's someone chanting something. What's going on here? Piers! Keep your voice down. We're not alone. Good God. What have you got me into? We'll you got see. your soul. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, th there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. You're the one that wanted to come with me. My lighter, thank you. Cause I don't want to give out too much light. In case that disturbs them. Locked. It means I have to head over to an my... engraved whalebone. A strange creature has been carved into it. Probably a figure of worship. Yeah, Cthulhu. A mass grave. For us. A table for sacrifice? Hi, Heaven. down. Sheesh. Hey, stop trying to bite my hand, first of all. Never mind. <laughs> my hand is not a chew toy, you know this. You're a cat. Stop it. Lay. My cat does not want to listen. I know you're two and a half years old, but come on. No. Stop. You're gonna hurt yourself doing that. Stop. Geesh. Can't wants to just I got I gotta What's going on? Okay, first of all, my cat keeps Thank you. Oh, it can't breathe. What's happening? No, damn it. I must find a way out of here. This way. Our Sandy's slowly going. Is it? 
Is it my turn? Yes. It is time. You will soon be one of us. If your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. What Good enough. Fuck. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. It seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. Okay. Nope. I can't read Latin. We're slowly increasing that. Um, want to increase that one. Thank you. Oh, our Sandy. <laughs> Just like our the dream. This is where we to break this door open. Oh. Okay. You who sleep. Ya Cthulhu Nithsiha Fitag. Grant him your flesh and accept his, so that his body and yours may be one. Yibithnk Padk Cthulhu Bithnko. What the fuck? Grant him your mind and accept his, so that his mind and yours. Maybe one. Yelloy. I. I feel him. Shh. You are gifted indeed. Not another word. Let him pass through every part of you. All you who sleep, we pray for your return me into the more of sacred flesh. We are ready for the ceremony. What about your protege? His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly. Okay. Fuck is going on? Oh, An shit. intruder! Oh shit! 
shit. Don't move! Police! Don't move! Oh, great. I won't hesitate! Bradley, get I back! Shoot. Get back! You asked for it! What the fuck? Charles, you shouldn't have seen this. Just run, just run. It's been caving in. I need to get out of here. Nope, this way. And my vib my controller is vibrating beside me because I still have a plug. Shit, 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 shit. Dead. Okay, now I can stand. But I can't run. Light. At last. Pierce enough brought out to the secret meeting place of a cult set in network underground caverns right underneath the under the Hawkins Manor. They witnessed a strange ceremony led by a Charles Hawkins, very much alive. Bradley tried to arrest him, but Hawkins, whose body displayed various mutations, disemboweled the off police officer. As he tried to escape from him, Pierce fell like a prisoner in the rock vault, rushed to the Riverside Institute. He is in a critical state. So we are rushed to the hospital. Who the fuck found us, then? This does not make any sense. Having a seizure. He will survive. Strong as such. The fuck? There, he's opening his eyes. The same bin puller. I, I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're... What did you do to me? Undo these straps! Whoa! Go easy, my friend. You were dead. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was... He was dead. Me too, we, we were dead! What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No! What the fuck? fuck is going on? What happened to me? Where am I? With that, that will end this episode, and we will continue. In the next uh, session, because <laughs> of course I see the stream now ended. God damn it! But okay, but yeah, we'll continue this in the next 
second session. Anyway, I'll see you then. Or in YouTube's case, next episode. <laughs>